Hello everyone and welcome to the to a new let to a new playthrough. This time around we're, we're gonna go anime. Just kicking things off is this little anime that I liked so much as a uh, late teens. Well, during my uh, late teens, and that is Full Metal Alchemist. But we're, but we're going to be playing Full Metal Alchemist Dual Sympathy on the Nintendo DS. Yes, we are we are continuing our stay with the Nintendo DS with this game. Well, I remember uh, watching this series. Um, I I wouldn't say I started from the first episode. Um, I caught myself like in the middle of the series, but. Uh, but the more I watch it, like, every single weekend, um, wow, I, I really enjoyed the series, like, wow, and I'm, I'm talking about its original anime, I'm not talking about, um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, that, that wasn't until years later, this was at a time when the manga was still being made, um, they didn't have an ending just yet, uh, when the original anime series was uh, still being produced, uh, so they kind of made their made up their own ending. Uh, at least I think, because uh, this, like I said, this was uh, around the time when the manga wasn't even finished yet. Uh, we didn't get like a full manga adaptation anime until years later, under the title Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. So. I, I also uh, watched that that series on Netflix, um, and and I really liked it. I really enjoyed it, even uh, even though um, some story arcs were different. I think I don't know how to put it, but I really enjoyed it. I really do enjoy it. So, and on top of things, I I'm so excited to uh, to finally. Uh, Get to this game. You have no idea how much I've been. I've been waiting. I pretty much had to do all those double features for um, Ninja Gaiden on the Master System and New Super Mario Brothers uh, for, uh, on the DS because I really wanted to get to this game as quickly as possible. Um, I, I remember seeing the movies. Well, I think there were two movies, but yeah. Uh, I can't waste any time. This introduction is going way too long. Uh, the only thing is, I can't wait to hear one of my favorite voice actors. And that is Vic Mignogna. Uh, he did a fantastic job uh, playing the character of, of uh, Edward Elric. And um, I've been seeing uh, a, a lot of the series that feature him uh Voicing any character, so, and yes, I am aware of what what he's been been through over the past three years. I have been f following uh, this whole this whole case of his, and I know he didn't do what everybody claims that that he did. Yeah, I'm just gonna get this get this uh, uh, right off the bat. I don't think he I, I don't think he did what. People claim he did with all this harassment and all that, all that, no, all that nonsense mumbo jumbo. Um, there's just people that, that just don't like him, and they wanted him to leave the anime industry totally. And they'll they'll make up anything, any lie, and make it as quote a truth. So they don't want to be wrong. They. They don't like to be wrong, they don't want to be wrong, and they refuse to be wrong. They'll do whatever it takes. Now that's a shame on them. It's shame that, that they'll do whatever it takes just to get this person out of the industry. It's just, it's just very sad. Very sad indeed. So it's, uh, it's shame on them for doing something. They have no proof, no evidence, and there are people that that like uh, a Vic Mignogna, and they uh, they and they support him. I only uh, support him because he's a great voice actor, and he's also uh, a f follower of Christ, just like me. And 
and uh, the Lord our Father God is our only witness. He knows that that he didn't do no such thing. What uh, all these all these lies and all that. So to the people that that don't like them, uh, they'll believe anything. Um, these um, these haters will, will, will tell them. Even uh, there are certain voice actors I'm not going to mention because they don't deserve any any attention. Um, to this I say, how long are you gonna gonna keep this up? Things don't uh, things like this uh, bad uh, situations like this don't last. Your your lies are gonna be exposed. And there are consequences. It's just... What happens in the dark will come to light. I know I've, uh, there, there, uh, there's, uh, uh, I've heard many people say that, that, that phrase. So, it's going to come to light. The truth will be revealed. All the lies will be exposed. And that's pretty much all I have to say. So, anyways, I can't I can't wait to uh, to play this game. So we're gonna do story mode. And apparently, uh, this is the only thing you'll you'll see normal mode. And I have no idea if if I beat the game. Well, I I am gonna beat the game. I have to beat the game. Uh, hopefully, uh, this mystery difficulty will appear. That's why there's uh, those four question marks. So, uh, one quick note that there will be some dialogue that will be voiced and some dialogue that that uh, doesn't have any uh, voice acting. So, I will do my best to uh, <laughs> to come up uh, with... Uh, uh, at least try to sound like Edward Elric and Alphonse or whatever characters um, that appear in this game. So... So, without further ado, let's get started. Alchemy. The science of understanding the structure of matter, breaking it down, then reconstructing it as something else. It can even make gold from lead. But alchemy is a science, and so it must follow the natural laws. Mass is something. And so we reach the desert. Uh, one quick note: um, uh, I even actually s seen the um, the live action Full Metal Alchemist, and uh, Vic Mignogna also voiced it, uh, voiced Al in it, in that movie, and also uh, the returning Aaron Dismuke. I apologize if I mispronounce it, but when he was 12 years old, he did the voice of Alphonse. Uh, in the original anime and then years later when the, uh, the live action movie came out he reprised his role sounding more teenager like but it's still pretty good to, to, to hear him uh, to hear uh, the original voice actor's voice again but ever since Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood came out um, the voice actor uh, was changed and I don't mind that um, she makes uh, wh wh whoever this voice act actress uh, that that did the voice for uh, Alphonse El Elric did a good job uh, trying to imitate. Well, I don't know. I have no idea, but but they they all did a good job. Anyways, I hate deserts. It's nothing but sand. If there was some grass, I could turn it into bread. I'm starving. Huh? Hey, Al. Where'd you go? Down here. Huh? You got buried again?
so like this series and so we begin chapter one those who challenge the sun that is sun with s-u-n searching for the philosopher's stone we finally came to Lior. the people there were living happy sorry happily thanks thanks in part to the miracles performed by their priest cornello we didn't think these miracles were fake exactly So, if you pray and polish the altar, enough times, someone who's dead will be brought back to life? Something like that. Hmm. Water, 35 liters. Carbon, 20 kilograms. Ammonia, 4 liters. What's that? It's the ingredients of the average adult human body. And even though science has given us the entire physical breakdown, there has never been a successful attempt at bringing a human to life. There's still something missing, something scientists have, haven't been able to find in centuries of research. So what makes you think that hack job priest with his parlor tricks is going to be able to do? Hmm? And all those ingredients? can be bought on a child's allowance. Humans can be built on the cheap. There's no magic to it. Well, if there's no magic, then you bring, then you bring back, oh, sorry, then you bring someone back to life. Just a matter of time. Science is the answer. I drop the scriptures and pick up an alchemy book. We're the closest thing to gods th there are. Oh, for, for, for the record, um, he's just a kid. Al, sorry, Ed is just a kid. He's 15 years old. He doesn't know any better. If you've seen the anime, you'll know that in time, you know, he, he realizes it. He, he uh, realized that playing, uh, you know, uh, how should I put this? Uh, he learns the the uh, he he'll learn miss all about his mistakes and all that. It, it's been a, a while since I've seen the original series, so I don't know if if things change. So l let's continue on. You're not a god. You're you're nothing close to it, and neither is the sun. It's just a mass of hydrogen. Get close to it, like Cornello claims, and you'll all, and all you do is burn up. Hmm? Great, Ed. Push your total cyanism. I apologize. If there's some words uh, that I can't pronounce, I apologize. Uh, onto someone else. Huh? Great. What are you doing? This is his will, not mine. I don't think so, mister. Wh what? He, he doesn't have a head. Yeah, that's Al. I don't have a body. B but I'm here. This is my punishment for setting foot on holy ground, where mortals are forbidden. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna s s scream like a girl, but y y you get what I mean. Oh, you get what she's saying. Rose! Ow! Follow her! And so we finally begin our play. Let's go. So as you can see, Full Metal Alchemist Dual Sympathy is a beat-em-up. And, and once again, like New Super Mario Brothers, this is a blind playthrough, so I don't know what to expect. Got 
Gotta get these crisps, these little crystals, these rounded crystals, because I think you need them for to, to use your your alchemy, like like this cannon and the walls. So touch the dots in order. So here's where I, the touch screen comes into play. And there we go. And you're given a time limit, otherwise uh, you mess up, you gotta start over again. A secret passage, huh? Ow, are you too big to get through? <sighs> Brother, I'll wait for you. Yeah, I'm not that good at voicing Al. Telling such lies to my precious children. Really? What do you think you are, the Miz? Wow, that sounded pretty good for a crook running a fake religion. I think I will take my leave of our guest. What? Ugh, yikes. Spikes. <laughs> How rude. I can't believe this guy. I'll need to transmute a wall to, to get over this trap. Normally, I don't do this, but I just need to be very careful and time my jumps correctly. Okay. And thankfully, there's no time limit, so I can easily take my time. There, uh, there will be times where I will mess up. Jump. Ooh, that was close. That was a close one right there. Get the crystal. And gotta be ready. And go! See? Made it. And I didn't need to, to use uh, the wall. If you time your jumps right, you'll get, get, get through, through those a bed of spikes unfazed, just like I did. Just have patience, time your jumps, know the pattern of when uh, they go up, when they go down, and you'll be just fine. Alright, let's continue on. Oh! Oh, that was close. Gotta get these cows. I think these are health restores. Oh, that was close. I will do my best not to get hit. Okay, I finally made it. Gotta stock up on a... No! I needed those. Oh, well, I, I, at least my health is back up. And yes, that cow statue can be destroyed. You just gotta keep on uh, really hitting, hitting it. Hold on one second. Oh, ow. All right. I think it can be destroyed. Okay, maybe not. I give up. Ah, didn't get it. Oh, I think my health is restored. No, no, no. Never mind. It was chip damage. State alchemists. Brutal enforcers. I had a feeling one of you would show up someday. Let's not chalk that up to, to, to pious premonitions. You knew we'd come for the zone. Yes. The mythical gem, the legendary amplifier, the philosopher's stone. If you want it, you'll have to take it from me. Uh oh. What? Rose, you need to see what happens when you try to bring a human back to life. When you cross into God's territory. Whatever the hell it is. 
his arm, his leg, their machines. Oh, and for, 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 for the record, it's the character uh, that, that swears, not the actor. Okay? People want to say if uh, they're if they're fo uh, followers of Christ, why did you swear? You pretty much uh, have to realize that it's the character that's swearing, not the actor. I I know this because well, that's what because uh, they are they are voice actors. They're supposed to read the lines. I know there's going to be words that people are, are going to feel uncomfortable, but. They're just it's just part of the script it's how how it was in the the Japanese version that's how they spoke you are damned state alchemist and yeah like me I don't really like swearing but it's part of the script may the wrath of God fall upon your head stop hiding behind that crap get down here and I'll show you some wrath very well. Will you entertain me until you die? Yeah, that little laughy does reminds me a lot of um. Uh... Oh. Don't run away. Can't find a door. Make your own. Okay, so what was I saying? Oh, uh, the way Corin uh, uh, Corin Nello laughed uh, it kind of uh, reminds me of uh, Jubei from uh, Fatal Fury 2. Whenever he wins, he'll go da da da, and his mouth goes up and down. What is this? I can't get any closer. I guess that means I'll have to use alchemy then. Not nah. okay. I guess I do. I gotta use the cannon for this. And what's messed up is they're not affected by by that electric um, parts right there. Only me, which isn't fair. Oh well. Uh oh. Run. Huh, that was close. Alright. Now this boss battle, uh, I've played this part uh, before. I've never pa uh, made it, I mean, I've never uh, played past uh, the second stage. So, you cannot hit uh, Cornello at all. So, you have to uh, beat down whatever he, he, he brings out. Ouch. All right. Oop. Going up. See, whenever he uh, uses uh, the Philosopher's Stone, his health drains. So, you pretty much cannot go up there and, and just straight up attack him. All you gotta do is just take down whatever the chimeras come at you. Oop! Okay. Jump! Uh oh! Ow! Alright, he's almost done. I just gotta take down whatever Cornell th uh, Cornello throws at us. Oop! Jump. And that's it. Ouch. Stage clear. Finally. An imitation. After all the trouble you put me through, stop jerking me around. 
<sighs> Just another wild goose chase. Nothing left to do but start the search again. You should have never come here. Father Cornello gave us hope. What right did you have to take that away? Hmm? What do I have to live for? Now that I know Cain won't come back. You tell me that, Ed. You'll have to decide for yourself. Walk on your own. Move forward. You've got a good strong pair of legs. Get up and use them. Her brother was trying to help. He doesn't always handle things well. Just go away, would you? Rose, my brother and I have seen all sorts of things over our years of searching. And I need to tell you about them. So you don't have so you don't repeat our mistakes. We were born and raised in a small village east of Central named Resimbol. That's where it all began. Humankind cannot gain anything without first giving something in return. To obtain something of equal value must be lost. That is alchemy's law of equivalent exchange. In those days, we really believed to be the one, to be the one and only way. Yeah, I, I've seen the anime so many times that uh, I got that part. <laughs> oh, the world's one and only truth. Yeah, I, I've seen uh, the anime to to know, to know when uh, when to say that line. My brother hates milk, but he always loved uh, the, the stew that our mother made. Mom was so gentle. She was always, always taking good care of us. Our father was always abs absorbed in alchemy and left home, but he still loved all of us. Then our mother passed away. My brother and I knew that gain that gain required, sorry, then our mother passed away. My brother and I knew that gain required sacrifice. But something had been taken from us, and we thought there was nothing more we could lose. We were wrong. That light that, sh that should have brought us, that should have brought her back from the other side, it took my entire body and stole my brother's leg, my body and his leg. The thing we got in exchange was not our mother. No, it was not human. My brother sacrificed his arm to call me back to this world. My brother had to replace his arm and leg with auto mail. We only want to restore our bodies, and for that, we need the Philosopher's Stone. To seek it, we decided to leave our village. And on the day we set off, we burned our house. October 1910, Resimble Village, Edward, age 11, Alphonse, age 10. One day, on the way to Central, where my brother would take the state alchemist exam, we were contacted by Colonel Mustang. That's how we became involved in an incident. Alright, so now we're saving. Saving is complete. So I'm going to call it a part right here. Next time we meet, we go into the next chapter. Wow, this was a very long introduction to a start of, of a new playthrough. First time I've ever done this. One last thing uh, is that 
I'm glad that uh, Vic Mignogna is back in voice acting. Uh, he's now working at a, at a new studio called AM Studio. AM meaning Anime Matsuri Studios. Uh, it's, a, a, it's, it's a studio here in Houston. So I'm glad he's going back to voice acting. So not everything. I mean, not, not every, not every bad stuff happens. But you know, there's always going to be good. There's always going to be good stuff approaching. If they, if they have faith, if they have faith in God. So. So next time we meet, sorry, I have to repeat this again. Next time we meet, we will uh, take on the, the next level. So until then, everyone, take care and God bless.